Japan has been hit by its biggest earthquake since An explosion began. was heard and smoke seen at the power plant. The images of destruction and flooding coming out of Japan are simply heartbreaking. The tsunami that swept ashore in 2011 caused one of the worst nuclear accidents in history, a meltdown of the Fukushima reactors. More than a decade later, engineers are still working to remove radioactive debris. A magnitude 9 earthquake struck here. It was so powerful that Japan's coastline moved eight feet to the east and sank three feet down. It set off aftershocks around the world. Tremors were felt as far as Beijing, United States and Cuba. Steve's already in the car and he didn't even say anything. We're like waiting for him or yeah. thinking he's here. It's his fault. He's doing it to make us look back. Yeah, I know he is. That's the second time. Dang it. All right, see you later, Dave. It's raining? Yeah. The first day of rain in Japan. Look, I already see Steve's face. He's, he's filming us again. Like as if like, yo. Yeah, no. Yeah, right. You didn't say you were in the car. Yeah. Second day, bro, you didn't say anything. We, we went in your room and you weren't even there. Yeah, waiting outside. Yeah. <laughs> wow, making us look oh, like we're late. Wait till tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wait watch tomorrow. tomorrow. Watch on the next video and you guys see who's late. You already know, guys, 7 Eleven. We have to do a quick stop there. Um, this time I'm going to try some other new stuff that I've been wanting to try here. It's their matcha. So let's check it out. Woo! This would be the day too, we're doing like some neighborhoods and villages where you have to walk around to get to each spot and not just one big spot. So that does kind of suck. Hopefully this rain goes away though. So over here there was like this matcha drink I wanted to try. Oh no, I think that was at the Lawson's or the Family Mart. So I don't think I can get matcha here, only hot coffee. We need to go to a Family Mart later. I want to try their matcha. Maybe tomorrow morning is Family Mart. Today I'm back to the usual. Uh, maybe the milk one or should I try something different? See, if I was live streaming, you guys can tell me what to get. All right, so today we're gonna go with a chocolate coffee. Um, I hope there's caffeine in here. I just can't even understand it, but we're getting this. I don't know. All right, we are good for the day. There's a whole ass Evo in there. Hey, we got the pullover, check it out. First off, just look at the road. Empty, quiet, just rainy. But check this out. Dude, doesn't it look like someone was drunk driving and they just ditched their car? I'm not one for an Evo, but just to see an Evo just still like being taken over by the, the radiation, you know, the land. And the owner just said, nah, I don't need the Evo 7 anymore. I'm just going to leave it here. So the car we're looking at right here is worth, what do you say? 25,000 pounds, so about $28,000, I'd say, wouldn't it? Twenty-eight, yeah, $29,000 for that abandoned car. So what we're checking out here is, um, well, the train stations, JR Rail still work. This might actually be an active one. Um, but over here is an entrance into a... Do they see us? Oh, it's a great game. It's cool. All right. We're heading into like a, a video game store or some sort, uh, apparently, but it also looks like a bit of a village here. A little area. Check out all this. The umbrellas are still here, right on it. This was an outdoors bathhouse. A little, little small one though, huh? Yeah, oh, there's a house back here, bro. Maybe the owner lived back here for their store. Traditional because of the tonic tonic doors. 
Oh, radiation's a lot higher in here, boys. Wait, what is it? 77, 80. Really? Yeah, it's oh. the highest readings we've seen so far. Yeah, I'm gonna put my mask on. Yeah, be careful, boys. This would be, yeah, this is old. All the old radiation is still kept in here then, from back then. The 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan was the second worst nuclear accident in history after Chernobyl. This is not too bad, right? It's not bad. I just don't want to breathe in anything like, like that here. Not, not, and plus we're kind of closer to the power plant than usual. So this is some dude's crib or house. Someone said they sold video games here, but I don't see any video games. Oh, oh yeah, the shop's over here. Yep, so the family lived here, but they had a small shop in the corner right next to the JR station. Yeah, check this out, dude. That's a, a whole a whole bunch of Gundams. What? Yeah, all the Gundams. The Gundam models. Oh. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Is. Yeah. Oh, don't bring up. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that kind of dust we want. <laughs> Yo, look at them all. Yeah. So many Gundams. A lot. 0 0.37. It's not bad. Oh, someone, of course, someone took out the cash register. You know, still going down and checking. See, I've never seen these before. What is that, like modeled computers? I don't know what that is. A lot of different Gundams, though. I'm not, see, I was never one for Gundam. Only when I was really young, I would see Gundam on Cartoon Network, but that was really it. There's a lot of wine bottles and liquor bottles all over here. So not only were they selling, like, you know, some sort of video games or anime stuff, but a lot of wine and sake and whiskey. And to be honest, a lot of this is all tipped over and stuff because of the earthquake still. It's not just from like the animals. Dang, what is that? Looks like it could be tasty. Damn, check out the uh, coffee. They were advertising it with these cartoon heroes. See, I don't know that anime, even if it is an anime or not, but it's cool how they use like manga and anime people to advertise their products. I like that a lot. Dang, so what is all this makeup? Yeah, yeah it looks like a bunch of makeup. Yeah, just watch that, it's falling on itself. Yeah, the fact that the poster is still on the hanging. If you can't notice, they're all capsules. You pay like quarters and get prizes from. They're just covered in dust, you couldn't even tell. See? Look at this. It says Sega on it. You think it's like a, looks like almost like a mask. Know, like, like, like a bunch of masks. This is a hundred, hundred yen a piece though. So. I'll hold that down. I have no idea what that is. No looks like something for film. Yeah, it does. It looks like a black oh, it's film. No idea what that is. Comment down below, what is that? He's a cool bear. Oh, I think it's for cotton candy. Yeah, he made cotton candy. I could tell with the spinny thing inside. Damn, we had a cotton candy machine maker in here. That's awesome. Oh, Super Famicom? Oh, what is this? Just Super, Super Nintendo? I don't know what this is. Yeah, it has to be a Super Nintendo because look at the controllers. Yeah. Super Nintendos. Hey, that's a good find, huh? That's crazy. Oh, what's that? What? PlayStation pedals. What is it? Pedals is is it for like driving simulator? Yeah, but it looks to me more like a flight simulator. Like. It's still in the box, bro. Yeah. 
just like a general store that had some other video game products. That's a PlayStation, I think, one controller right there. What is that? Gold bar in the safe. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Yeah, I'll show you the safe. It's crazy. Whoa. He had an amazing shrine. We'll have to check that out. In the Holy shit. Japanese gold. Japanese gold is in the safe. I was well, just checking the weight of it then. <laughs> hey, you know what though? <laughs> Regardless, there's still there's still a safe here though. It's what's in it, nothing? Yeah. I mean when you see the whole entire safe just tilt over to the side and you see like what you think is a gold bar, I mean, come on, that is pretty crazy. Josh. What's up? PlayStation games. Wow! What game's these? A bunch of games. Tail, I see, I don't know Japanese, that's the thing. These, these are games we might know, it's just we can't understand. Okay, so we, we there's some good games in here. Oh, there you go. Gun, Gun Bullet, yeah, that's pretty much point Same blank. characters. And it's made by Namco, which is the same thing. Yeah. Ridge Racer! Oh my god! Ridge Racer! Bro, I even know Ridge Racer. Bro, the glasses. Yeah, and when you crash the car, it makes the most ghetto, like, yeah. cheesiest noises and sounds. Yeah. Guys, we've been literally looking through all these pile of video games. This guy was selling so many different games. I mean, all Japanese PlayStation 1 games. So just to show you guys that this guy was selling them from that store we're in, there's multiple copies of Final Fantasy VII. There might even be more. Look at that, three copies of Final Fantasy VII for PlayStation. And that's the thing, this guy was selling so many video games. It's, it's just so cool to see, honestly. I found something interesting. Seems like one of their ancestors was inside the military. Because you got the guy here and you got his badges. And they were just, re you know, showing their family off. And this is their shrine. Look at this. It's so sad. It's all gone, abandoned in bits. This guy was like mad hard working to even have his local store and live in this area. You can tell whoever owned this place, you know, probably had a, a family, had some children. Probably one of their children's right here. I think this was for soccer. And owning so many video games, he must have loved video games and probably was a cool dad. Yeah, his kid was growing up playing soccer. Sad. Check this though. It's kind of freaky. I like that. What the hell's that? You think that's a real gun? Oh, it can't be a real gun, but it's all gold. I don't know, I think he might have been in the military. I saw a picture before. Yeah. He might have been awarded as part of like a military thing. Yeah. That cuckoo clock, man. Looks like when it goes off, everyone's playing and moving around. We've just entered another house just through the entrance. Again, there's just tons and tons of houses. And we're just kind of just scouting through. I don't really care about going through people's houses here too much. But I just want to get a sense of, just because it's like, we're going to be going through a lot of stores and different places and uh, I just want to show you guys a little bit of everything on this series. You can tell though this place has been, I think, kind of ransacked. I think, I think there's like people stealing from here, but I'm not exactly sure. Upstairs must be bedrooms. Here, this is their pretty much storage and garage. Whoever lived here loved the fish. All their fishing pools and rods are still here. It is a rainy day. Whoa, someone's tripod. And we'll check upstairs. <sighs> wow, so far this video, uh, this series is a lot different from last video. We were doing bigger places, now we're just into the, the neighborhoods and the small communities. Okay, yeah, these look like I think back rooms. Not back, uh, yeah, uh, they're rooms. Whoa, these are really not safe. This was their sleeping area. And remember, a lot of them didn't use beds, they all used mats to sleep on. Look at this coat. It's so weird exploring abandoned houses here, 
compared to abandoned houses in the US or even France or anywhere else in this world. You're used to seeing beds, uh, a lot of their belongings all over the place. But here they're so organized, the Japanese are so organized, there's no beds, there's really any mattresses, it's just all mats. The culture difference is pretty crazy. But check this out. There's even a cherry blossom tree right there. And again, all this is abandoned all around us. That's what I mean guys, we can be exploring here for so freaking long. It's odd because his jackets, oh, these are his work clothes. They're just still here. Probably left here for like 13 years, just still frozen up here. And all the mats, just so you guys know, all the mats and their blankets, they're all stored in here. And they would just kind of lay them out here and that's their beds. Everything is just kind of like a bit big open space. They believe in family, they like to just see each other, have get togethers and all be around each other. So that's pretty much how it goes out here whole different community but I don't know where the f my friends are I don't even know what it looks like out here I can't see let's go downstairs and see what's up well they have a bed it's right here yeah all it's insane to see this though all their clothes are just here all of them all their stores they were up they had to leave they couldn't get their stuff they can't come back for it that's how crazy this is well, everything is like scattered and it's hard to even film this. I'm not even joking. It's just I'm cluttered every step I take. I'm stepping on something and I'm trying to be as freaking uh, respectful as I can and not step on anything. Oh, wow. Look at the small details. I would never have noticed. They had a pet right here. Maybe a dog or a cat. This was their garage. It's not looking too good. I'm going to have to jump out the window. All right. Uh, so when I was in here, where were you guys? So we checked the place out there. But we come outside, the radiation was 1.08, and it rose from 1.08 to 1. Uh, sorry, to 1.4. 1. 1.4. 1. Zero. And it's still going up to 1. 1.56, 1. 1.60. Wow. So 1.4 uh, uh, microsieverts. If we stay there for two hours in that spot, we will receive a dental tooth X-ray, a single one. Still not dangerous or anything, but just you know, letting you guys know. Um, all right. Yeah, this place what is. That you receive a what? Uh, like a, you'll get a dental x-ray, a tooth, one tooth. Oh, That's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> all right. Just left the house. Walked all the way over here. And over here looks like there's another house. I think that's the house they were in. So I'm going to see if I can get to it. Wow. So check over here. Looks like a little area they would chill. Look at that. Some statues and some lights. This is all decoration. I have to go in. All right. Wow. No, this house is cool. Look at. They would open these up, probably in the afternoons, and just hang out and look at their garden. That's why they, they lit it up kind of nice over there. These were the mats, all hanging out, eating food. And look, look at this. Another one. They had a whole beautiful setup for praying. Temple, religion stuff. It's amazing how every family tells a different story. Everyone has different opinions and things that they like, different items. It's insane. Their furniture, everything's still in it. Look up, you can see some taxidermy. Ooh, I like when I see the masks. I think the masks over there are really cool. Gotta look at everything, look at the details, especially in the, the craft and the walls from the wood. This is a place I feel like I find a samurai sword in or something. What is this, a Tommy gun? An old Tommy gun. Looks like, almost like the Tommy gun in Resident Evil uh, 4, after you beat the game. It's kind of cool. Oh, the bullets in there. Hey, they can It's kind of crazy. Almost a bit real. Oh, wait a minute. It's broken glass, but check this out down here. They had some uh, Super Nintendo games down there. Well, I think we've seen almost everything here, um, but I will say let's kind of keep going. Oh, for a minute. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. It is a dead animal, I think. It freaked me out for a second. They definitely, they definitely like taxidermy, though. Look at this dude. Wow. I think this was a samurai. 
tipped over though. Could be from the earthquake for sure, that one. All right, we're gonna head upstairs. For those who like my ghost videos, thank you so much for even watching this series. And for those who uh, don't like my ghost series, but watch the ghost series, thanks so much for still watching and supporting. We put a lot of work and craziness, uh, craziness into these videos. Check in here. Just a bunch of storage. This is cool. I like when I see the beds. Because you don't see beds too often. Look what I found. I found a Sega Mark III. A console. I've never even seen this in person. This is my first time. Pretty much time to get out of here. Uh, that's the outside. Alright. Let's bounce back to the car. We still have a lot more to do and a lot more to see. So, here we go. So, remember how the Geiger counter, uh, Dan was, no, uh, Dave was saying it was uh, 1.0? That's uh, in micro zeverts, that's what it was reading. But in MSV, that would still be 0 0.001, which means it would we would have to stand here for 200 hours because it's in MSV, um, millisieverts. So we need to stand here for 200 hours to get a tooth x-ray. My bad, that's crazy. So right outside of the game store is this old vending machines. Really? Oh, I mean, well, you know, they're old, but you guys get it. Look at that. They're all faded too. That's a beer vending machine. These are beer vending machines. This is a smoke cigarette vending machine right there. The vitamin CC11 is supposed to be a green bottle with yellow. It's just empty and gone. Look at the Mountain Dew fan. Uh, look at the Mountain Dew. Look how faded the colors are. Look at the street. <laughs> I'm saying look a lot, but it's actually exciting. All of this is gone. It's actually peaceful though. Seeing the uh, to the cherry blossom tree, no cars, all run down. And I'm not sure if this JR station is active. I'm pretty sure it should be, but there's still just no one here. See, and again, the reason why this is blocked off is because the owner, whoever owns this, did not give them permission to knock it down yet or they're just not working on it yet. So eventually, this will be coming down, but this has not been cleaned or touched. Now, just so you guys know, this was once all buildings over here. This whole thing was filled with buildings, actually. You wouldn't tell anymore. All right, let's get back to the car and keep it moving, but this is really cool to see, this beautiful tree. The, meadow, the petals just falling down. You won't see a vibe like this anywhere. It's a very sad yet beautiful kind of feeling. On a sec, it's staying here for a long time and keep going inside all these buildings, but we already have a lot of intel and a lot of other places to still see, so it's just, it's gonna take too much time. Um, but yeah, here's the other side right here. This was, it says liquor. This was the Gundam area we were in. We're in the zone, boys. We are. So check out, I'm gonna open this window. All of what you're seeing is is all just left behind cars and you know places. If you see open fields and patches like this, they were once houses or villages. Right now we are looking at one of the famous streets in Fukushima, but this is after the cherry blossoms have started. But check this out. All right, Steve, check your Fukushima map. What are we looking at next? Watch shop. A watch shop. You know, as we're driving to this watch shop, I'm just thinking, at this point, 
who would actually want to come back and live here? And I don't even mean that in a bad way. It's just there's there's nothing here. I live here too for the abandoned aspect of exploring, but there is literally nothing here. Everything has been demolished. Whatever restaurants were here or any sort of civilization is gone. If you want to be peaceful, then sure. I mean, even everything's abandoned. I mean, I'm just showing you. It's just empty, abandoned, or everything's been gone. I mean, the flowers are cool though. Look at all them. Look at all them. All right, boys, uh, inside this shop over there is the watch shop. But guys, yeah, we have to go this way. We gotta go around and take a left. Now, just so y'all know, as you can already clearly see, all this is all abandoned. Each house here, there, and there, and all this is all just done. No one's coming back here. I mean, there's even cars over here that are just sitting here still. I don't even know who owns them. Yeah, it's a, they're, they're so they're so little. It looks like a kid's car. Now, when I came here back in, uh, I don't know, six years ago, I actually went inside here, but I don't know if it's active now. You just never know. I don't think so. It's just an old shrine temple. But yeah, it should be like a window over here. You can just literally walk inside. Whoa. So I will say, <laughs> I came here a long time ago. And it was a lot uh, less dusty. You can't even see what the watches look like. But if you come down, look at them all. Already because this window is completely smashed open, all the airflow in here, there's some old dust, but nothing to really be alarmed. Um, it is on a main street. This is where they would kind of fix up some of the watches and put together the lens for the glasses. It was a watch kind of jewelry lens and glasses store. But the the, the, the prices for some of these watches still, there's some with like $2,000 watches inside here still. Look at this 19,000 19, yen. That's only about like, I don't know, like uh, 200 US dollars or less for sure, even less. But there is some expensive ones in here. And then over here, they, they even sell clocks. And on the right side, they sell sunglasses. Tons of sunglasses just now stacked up by dust. It's just crazy how much dust like actually accumulated here. The best part is, is actually not the watches, not the clocks, but back here, there is jewelry of a necklace. And I gotta show you this. Check this out. And it's weird, right? It's the only necklace intact. Right over here. How much how much US dollars do you think this is? So hundred and thirty thousand. So uh, I would say about a thousand dollars. A thousand a thousand, maybe two hundred, thousand, one hundred dollars. No, about a thousand because don't forget it's a, it's about hundred and thirty yen for a, for one dollar. Okay. So it's yeah. about a thousand dollars. Yeah, and this is off our heads by the way too, but a thousand dollars necklace is just here. Oh, it's like earrings or... Oh yeah, cufflinks. Cufflinks? I don't know what that is. It's uh, where you put on your shirt, you, like your button there. Oh. It's a cufflink. Oh, that's fancy. There's Ray-Bans here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the Ray-Ban case. That's cool. And to be honest, nothing's been stolen or ransacked or robbed. Like, if this was... Hey, that's the whole thing. If we were in the U.S., Anywhere else, actually, in any country, mostly, this whole place would have been robbed already. Many other places would have been robbed. Nothing is stolen. That's what makes it crazy. The Japanese, the culture, and how they are. It's just actually amazing. What is this? Zippo f uh, flint? I know the Zippo lighters. The binoculars are pretty cool. There's two pairs. Good to scout out the workers. Oh, yeah, it's a really old one. So cool, man. They sell film here too on this rack. They're selling film. I don't know if, oh, yeah. it's, for, if it's for that camera, but they're selling film for some Fujis. Um, what? These are all, yeah, they're watches, they're watches huh? It sucks. There's so much dust that's over the cases. We can't even see the gold watches. It, it should be illegal to leave something like that sat there because it is beautiful. 
my dad's into clocks and watches and he loves Seacor. I sent him a picture of that and he was like, oh my God, <laughs> you're breaking my heart. Hey, it's actually kind of sick because when it would get to like 12 or every hour, yeah, it yeah. makes the seahorses. I think, I think it's just ticking. The I seesaw. That, yeah, I think that's Oh, it's ticks. not a seesaw. Oh, I couldn't see that. There's, yeah, you're right. They're, they have two saws yeah, to cut the, the log. Huh. <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh. oh, it's a watch, mate. Watch, um, it's a watch repair. I don't think so. It's for your eyes, bro. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, this is to see, like, to oh, test your vision. You yeah, you're right. Wow, look at all the different lenses, bro. That's cool. You are right. I thought it was, like, the magnification, you know, yeah. fixing the cost yeah. and stuff. Well, you know what the thing is, guys? I'm really smart and always right. <laughs> yeah. Now I'll show you guys some of the watches that are here. Look at them all. See if we could find the most expensive one. So many of them, though. The price tags are all on the bottom. This is like a hundred dollar watch. I'm looking for the most expensive watch, guys. Whoa, that's the most expensive watch. All right, so right here, let me remove the dust. This is the most expensive watch I found in here, which is about eight hundred dollars. There's a back room. This was his printer and office section. But I want to see what's back in here. Look how tight we're getting. There we go. It's in here. It's like little jewelry stuff. Maybe to, cut, to make some jewelry? 600, uh, that's like five dollars for these balls. Don't know what they were doing here. This is a weird uh, little back room, huh? Small. Oh, maybe they were developing some sort of film. All right, <laughs> let's get out of here. What is this? Could be a real gold ring for all we know. Okay. Hear that outside? I have no idea what that says. All right, wait, what's it? Where you go? You went upstairs. So it's pretty empty, but there's one room with loads of old cool stuff in there. Oh, let's go check that out. Oh, we have the glass blocks. I love the glass blocks. Let's check it out. Got the Super Nintendo there. Oh, this guy was chilling. It's a sealed PlayStation One in the box. Where? Whoa, boys, that's awesome. Whoa! Magic cards! Whoa! Look at this! Stacks of them! Magic the Gathering! Whoa! Magic the Gathering! Whoa, look at he has the PS2! PS3? What is this? Super. It's a gun! Where? Where? Hang on. Holy crap! Boys, <laughs> it's like airsoft. <laughs> oh, yeah, like shooting. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Dude, I don't know what gun this is. It's nice. All right, so whoever lived here is super cool. I mean, we got this sick gun, the FAMAS. Yo, the scope is sick in it. I mean, it's an airsoft gun, but it, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely pretty cool. Um, he has a lot of video games. He was big into Death Note. 
all the Death Note characters. This place is cool. Look at this Death Note character. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. Dude, the fact that this guy got a Super Nintendo just chilling here. A lot of dust though. Um, PS2's on the floor and everything he has in the back. This is a really cool house and a really good find. Hey, my boy. Heck yeah. The rest of this house is all cleared out as you can clearly see. Very traditional though, up here. Oh, dusty. Yeah, all cleared out. But he had a cool view. Hang on, let's see. And you can see it that we're on like a busy street. Oh, this is cool. The shrine. This place is really cleaned out. I wonder if they they were like, oh, we're gonna leave, but they took all their stuff and they dipped at the same time. But then again, why would he leave all his action figures in that room behind? That's what I don't get. Really quick though, let's see what's upstairs. Workout bike and there's a whole camera section. So I wonder if these were like open stores. Like all oh, the camera section is upstairs, go upstairs. It's the only thing I can think of. This looked like a whole, yeah, just a whole camera store. More right there. Everything's been cleaned out here though. I keep going to all the stores, all the places where I'm just like, what else can I find? What am I gonna find? Like, what's the next craziest thing that's just gonna be rotten sitting here? Collecting dust. We're about to head out of here now. We're gonna get some amazing ramen. I think we're calling it quits for the day. Good day though. Seen some really cool stuff, that's for sure. Jeez, just the mat. Look at this. This is all abandoned, all just walking through. Wait, y'all trying to vlog the ramen shop? No. Nope. I don't know. I After a, well, make a film. trying to make another film. All right. Wait, we had a long day. Oh, wait, would you wave that someone? Oh, the one we had last year. Yeah, we were we were here eating yesterday. Every night after a long day of Fukushima, we've been getting ramen here. Ramen is just amazing, and the service. Yes. All right, maybe we can sit over there. Wait, do we just sit ourselves, right? No. Okay. <laughs> I was about to sit. I, I was about to sit myself. Over there. Okay. I'm sitting in the same spot as last time. Okay. Okay. All right, I sat here yesterday too. Oh, man. All right, so I'm gonna ask the guy what his favorite ramen is. And whatever it is, I'm just gonna get it. I'm gonna ask the waiter what his favorite ramen is because every place I go, I always ask them, what is your favorite before I order something? And usually I never pick what they ask, but I'm just curious. Um. You. Ah, you. You. Ah, you. You recommend. Yeah. You recommend. Yeah. You so anything. Uh, it's hard, huh? It's all the ramen. It's, so oh, okay. yeah. it's hard. I'm sure you like it small. He's thinking hard. He's like, what's his favorite? Yeah. <laughs> I know it's it's this one. How do you pronounce that? Do you ever look Tong what it is? Kan tonkatsu? Tonkutsu? Seafood pork on the bone. I don't know. Alright, we'll see what we got when it came in. I can't even pronounce it. Alright, we got what we ordered. I have no idea. Wow. Bro, that looks a lot different. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Yes. Dude, we have a lot. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I don't even know what this is yet. Oh man, the broth is good. All right, so so we have to like dip it in, like dip it in there and then eat it or something. I don't know. I never ate ramen like this. I mean, we could just take it and pour it in and just say screw it, but I don't know. Either way, this looks good. I never had ramen like this. All right, so I think the way to eat it is you have to like take it, drop it inside here, and then take it out and pretty much slurp it. Oh, that's mine. Oh, thank you. 
Yeah. I got the guitar. Thank you. All right. So and then what else? Then I gotta go like this. Mm. I think that's how you do it. Well, we did a magic trick and we made it all vanish. I don't know. You're looking really full. Oh, oh no. It was amazing, but I am so freaking full, but we deserve this. We went hard all day today. It's been rainy. It's been dusty. It's been, uh, it's been a lot. So, well, especially exploring in the rain. I like the rain, but I like it more cloudy and just a little bit of wetness. It makes this like eerie atmosphere. And I really like that when I film, especially when it's less cloudy for filming, but oh, the constant rain and the radiation and the dust. I'm just like, yeah, it just, it was a lot today, but this food made up for it. Thank you, Japanese gods, thank you.